It's all so boring here, Margot. There's nothing but playboys and tennis pros. If only I could find a real man. I need to use your phone. She'll call you back. Who are you? Bond, James Bond. Exercise control 007 here. I'll report in an hour. Won't you join me? Better make that too. In my business, you prepare for the unexpected. Problem solver. Do more of a problem eliminator. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I get my hands out of here? Bon appetit. <clears throat> What's happened? Salt corrosion. Oh, bad as hell. Yeah, looks like it came to a dead end. Various. They all have names. Universal exports. We've been retained by the Regents Park Zoo to arrange shipment of a car caradon car carriers. A white, great white shark. All right, Bill, let him in. You've been on your yacht. It's a great white. Lovely girl with a cello. Whoever she was, he must have like scared the living daylights out of her. You were fantastic. We're free. We're inside a Russian airbase in the middle of Afghanistan. Would you get me a medium dry vodka martini? What a Shaken. Rest. Not stirred. Are you all right? Switch the bloody machine off! No hot feelings? None of the party's still on. <laughs> He met his Waterloo. God. Yeah, the result was fucking bollocks. Stacy, you fucking slag. You mental slag. Back from a night of magic. Ah, I want a word with you, young lady. No, not now. Yes, now. I've got something to show you. Have you seen this? Yeah, it's fascinating. Uh, Jean, turn the light on, will you? Yeah. See anything? No light. Maybe the bulb's gone. Maybe you ain't paid the bill. The bill you promised to pay. You pay it then. You said you paid it. I gave you the money. Oh, fine, weather. You don't even help round the house. I mean, look, that mess. That is down to you. And upstairs on the carpet on the landing, there's more. Where are you going? Hey, don't you walk away from me, young lady. Stacy, come back here. Stacy! Charlie. Just drinking straight vodka like it's fucking water. I'm sorry, Jean, but this has got to be said. Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to smack my bottom, Uncle Charlie? I'm not having it. Well, my dad. It's gone too far. <laughs> It's so hot in here. Why is it so hot in here? You need to fix this window, Uncle Charlie, because I can't breathe. It's hard to breathe. What is all this? This lot must have cost a fortune. Look at these bills. You haven't paid one of them, have you? I took you in, Stacey. I took you in and trusted you. And this is how you repay well, me. Well, what is it you want me to do? Well, you want me to tidy up, is that it? Tidy yes, up? Yes, amongst other things. Well, that's fine. That's not a problem. That's no problem at all. Oh, yeah, can all, go? Oh, all of it, I don't care, all of it can go. Right, that's it. Uh, I want you gone. Do you want me to do a little bit of housework? Is that what you want me to do, Uncle Charlie? A little bit of housework? 
shock and well, things. You did you hear me? I can do whatever you want. I'll start out there, shall I? Tomorrow so morning, I'll start the carpet. I want your stuff so cleared. I'll just get my hands I'll in you, shall I? Out. Charlie, you don't mean that. Yeah. I would just slap the face of her and just toss her the fuck out. Yes, I, I do. That. I do mean that. Oh, wait, Charlie. Wait, wait come back. She's using vodka to clean the carpet. No, sorry, man, I can't stop because I'm scrubbing because I'm just a regular little scrubber, and I? Stop it, Stacey, please. Is that her ma? See, it's all, it's all just generic. Stacey, Stacey, stop it! See, there's absolutely no difference! Where's my nan? Listen, I need to look after your stall, thank darling. Doing? There's no one on the stall. I'm starving. The girl's got to eat, you know. Well, eat out there. I've got things to do. I've got loads of things to do. So the stall's just lying empty. Just no one's there. Just money, fucking till, fucking merchandise, clothes. While she's just in, fucking gobbling down food, gobbling down a big greasy fry. Just going like, what was she just said? Girl's got to eat, you know. Girl's got to eat, you know. Fucking nan. I nan like. I've got a busy afternoon. Where is it? Oh, the cash point's bright. You'll have to have it tomorrow. What happens now, ain't I used it earlier and it was fine, alright? I'll pay up or face the consequences. Oh, I'm scared. What are you gonna do? Beat me up? You owe me money, right? You owe me 400 quid. Now, I've been patient. I have been very patient. Now, I want paying, okay? Or I'm gonna go and find your mum. Alright, fine. You want your money? I'll go and get it for you now. Mr. Slater, could I have a word? It's all right, everything's under control. I'm just having a sale. You interested? Yeah, on it. On the ass. You need to stop the snap. Stop what? I'm only doing my job. I've warned you repeatedly. You were late setting up today. I was ill. And yet again, your stall is in the wrong place. Oh, yeah, about that. Come here, have a look. Okay. Who the fuck's he? The fucking, the fucking market stall, please? Look! Look at that. That's damage, that is. Year after year, people setting this all up in exactly the same place. Look at this. Look! How many days? How many different people? How many, how many different people? How many days, eh? I'm going to have to close you down. What? You heard. Uh, this stall is now officially closed down. Consider yourself suspended from the market. Well, you can't do that, because this stop is all I've got. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. Close it down, Sal! Come on, everyone! Take it! It's all free! No, she don't mean that! I can't just pay the fiver for this! Yeah, yeah come on! Miss Slater, please! Miss Slater! No, I don't need you! And I don't need your poxy markets! I've got plans! I've got big plans! Well, you're just a pathetic, petty little man. Take the lock. Come on, it's all free. Come on, ladies. Just leave them. That was all just to make you <clears throat> draw your eye towards the eye thing. That's all that was about. Nan, I don't care. You've just lost us the stool. I don't care, Nan. Wait, I want me money. Oh, I'll pay you in kind. What? Well, come here, don't be shy. It won't be disappointing. No, I, I just want me money, all right? I just want it. Give it to me now. You can whistle for it here now. If you don't mind, I've got a date. Stace? Stace? We're crazy, girl. Are we on or not? I'll take a hint. I ain't interested. Possibly one of the best, best, best characters in it. Okay. Let's go, Max. I didn't ask you to bring me here. Just, stay Just go, Max. Go. Go and be with your wife and kids. I don't need you. Fine. Bye, Jean. Bit of a wait, I'm afraid. How long? Oh, not long. An hour, maybe. Oh, I'm going. No, you're not. You stay here. You need oh, Have you seen this place? Look here, it's going to be hours and hours. Jean is not human to me. Is she a tranny? There's something going on with Jean. I don't know what the fuck. hours! Is. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. She's fucking... Those eyes are way too far apart. How about a cup of tea? No, I've got things to do. 
Capite. Mama, right? Oh. From the machine. There you go. Yeah, if I said, yeah, Jane, can you get me off this? You'd go to that machine and pump in fucking 30p. Well, things, all right? Loads of things. <sighs> what are you staring at? Oh, what's so funny? It's like, see. Oh, go on, you try and get a look. Go on, have a look, then, you dirty little perv. Go on, treat yourself. And you've got sharp and all. Oh, come and what's the matter with you, lot? What's wrong with you, eh? Oh, well, she's really mental. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember Stacy actually being this fucking mantle. Look. Bipolar, there we go. Oh, Ireland's not very busy, so why don't we just go home? No way, Mum, I'm enjoying myself. Do I look at this, Mum? Senorita Slater. <laughs> you wouldn't say no, would you, Winston? <laughs> Mum, we should go into business together. We should get one of them empty shops up the high street, divide it in half, and do half flowers and half clothes. Oh, I'm happy here. Well, I'm not. No, I've got big plans, Mum. I'm going to go to the bank, take out a loan, expand the business. I'm not staying in this dump forever. God, she is just too much. Even the acting's too much. It's jeans, man. It's just the chief. Oof, I don't even know what to say. Look, I understand why you didn't want to talk about it if we're in front of Mo and Charlie. You're in the poll, Uncle Charlie. Oh, Jim Corden said, would I get some roses for Dot? So what do you reckon, red or pink? Well, what's the difference? But you just can't ignore oh, this, Stacey. It's not going shut to up, Mum. I told her there was a language of flowers. <laughs> she just sh shut up, Mum, and shoved her out of the way. Like, she was fucking... Look at this. This is great. difference? But you just can't ignore oh, this, Stacey. It's not shut up, Mum. I told her it was a language of flowers. Yes, pink is for friendship, red is for passionate love. And we'll go with the pink, Charlie, given their age. Uh, if you don't make an appointment shut today, up, shut up. there will be some sort of follow-up. Can you just make your mind up? I don't know. All right, fine. There we go. Job done. Queen Vic, Albert Square. Oh, God. I, said, I said we ain't going out. Why not? No. Oh, quick enough to flash a cash. No, it's not. Oh shit. Okay, you ever wanted to know how Jake, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal got his body for uh, Roadhouse? Check it out. <coughs> it's quite done. Like Jake Gyllenhaal. This is so shit, okay? Hi, I'm Jason Walsh. I'm coming to you from my studio Rise Movement in Los Angeles, California, and talk to you about Jake Gyllenhaal and the training that we did for Roadhouse. When is I was it Gyllenhaal or Gyllenhaal? Can we just get a fucking final confirmation? What? He said Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. What the fucking fucking my head up? See the news that Jake got the role for the Roadhouse body. Roadhouse. I was eager to sit down with him and get his vision and expectations. His vision of his new body. What we're doing is real. Fuck it, right it is. Yeah, look at your stomach. It's never been done before. It's real. Look at your stomach, man. It's never been done before. This is this is new levels of acting. Don't mess around. And don't do this at home. I spoke with the stunt. Yeah, don't try like this at home. This is for only for extreme uh, elite actors. You need to have like a team of at least four guys around here, around you to do this training team to understand their needs I spoke with the director and producer to understand their expectations not only did Jake need that who's the producer man I wonder who the producer is there we go yeah you get it expectations not only did Jake need aesthetics but needed to perform stunts across from Conor McGregor a professional athlete in the UFC who has also never performed stunts on screen hey fellas looks like you're having a smashing night so oh, that's fucking awful. Apparently it's watchable. Uh, I don't know. Look at fucking Conor McGregor here. Like, what the? Can we just, can we just stop for one minute? Can we just take a fucking time out here and just get a fucking WTF here on Conor McGregor's fucking new face? Like, where did he grow this big fucking jaw and chin from? I mean, I can't tell what's a shirt and what's tattoo. It's all just, uh, it's all blending together. You just look like a real 
gangland criminal from Dublin. Fucking loves the roids, like, look at Jake, like, yeah, Jake, Jake being cool. It's like, he's just always doing stuff like this, he's deadpan, there's something happening to this guy, man, I'm telling you, something happened to this guy, he's holding back. Jake needed athleticism, resiliency, and overall strength. This would also feed the mind and mentality. Did he need to be punched in the stomach over and over and over again until, look, look, they're showing us the redness. Like, look, this is what he went through. Did, was that really necessary? Did he really need to go through conditioning like a fighter? Do you know what I mean? Think about Patrick Swayze in the original Roadhouse. Do you know what I mean? He was just some skinny guy. It was just, he did a bit of karate. It was it. Reality. He would need to get up after a fall. Potential. But you check out when I was getting up at four in the morning and doing like a fucking seven hour fitness routine and all or for seven days a week and all. Fuck me, like, would you ever just catch a grip? Why are you doing all this? Punch or a kick. I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. After. Oh, Jesus, like I don't, I don't think I don't really think McGregor's that good in it. Like from what I'm seeing. Taking all of this into consideration. I then had, had to, to pull weights across the floor and all. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Sit down and build a program that would ultimately build. Like he had to sit down and build a program specifically for Jake Kill and all. Like what will get him to this? What will realize his vision of his of his body? What a load of fucking shit! I'm sick of hearing this shit. Personal trainers talking as if they're like some sort of, as if they are like the foundation of the Dalton character. The Dalton character, the foundation is his body and the, his work, the way he worked out his body. That's the foundation of the Dalton character. And just wearing shirts with it open so we can see his six pack abs. And the whole excuse is we're in Florida, it's hot. People don't really close their shirts. Kind of like me now. The workout, this is what I want to see. Generally, we spend a few minutes each session moving, trying to get the core body to mature up before mm -hmm. moving into some sort of mobility. Look at this shit that they got him to look, 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 all this shit. Look, 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 he thinks like I need to do this. This is the science of workout. What you see here with these. This is like the latest in 21st century technology of how you work your body out. Do you know what I mean? People years ago just didn't know about the stuff, I guess. Stick, which is a great tool to help increase range look, of motion. Using the stick and all that, like. like he really, you know, Jake really, he really adapted, you know, he really, he really came in with a great attitude, he really took on board the information we were giving him, and, you know, he really wanted to learn. The Proteus is an amazing piece of equipment used mostly by performance centers to help train athletes in... in like Jake Paul's, Logan Paul's personal studio here every plane of motion and also to help increase power production <laughs> we use it primarily for priming the nervous Look system this. for priming the nervous system unless it i've done like <laughs> uh, come on like what is this machine he's using here is this the punch machine the proteus motion control i want to see this i want to get i've heard about these proteus machines they're like they cost like fucking 20k Mostly by performance centers to help train athletes in every plane of mo performance centers, performance centers to train athletes. They just get these big fucking stupid machines in it. It's all a con. Motion and also to help increase power production. We increase power production. They actually increase power production. It's really like just just generating power in your muscles. Like he's giving it all these terms like power production. It's just the fucking Americans. Use it primarily for priming the nervous system, proprioception, learning movement patterns, and a learning movement patterns. This is all just saying the same thing over and over. Priming nervous receptors. What did he say? Hold on. Priming the nervous receptors. I want to hear this shit again. Right? Listen, listen. I want to see this. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm not interrupt. Proteus is an amazing piece of equipment used mostly by performance centers to help train athletes in every plane of motion and also to help increase power production. We use it primarily for priming the nervous system, proprioception, learning movement patterns, and a lot for warming up joints and metabolic training. It has about five or six things here. 
Hold on, I want to get the actual, can we get a fucking transcript here? Can we get a transcript on this? Primarily for priming the nervous system, reception, learning, movement. Like, do you know what I mean? There's a lot of words getting fucking thrown out here. I want to see this. I want to read it. I want to read it. The Proteus is an amazing piece of equipment used mostly by performance centers to help train athletes in every plane of motion and also to help increase power. Every plane of motion and also to help increase power production. Power production. We use it primarily for priming the nervous system, proprioception, learning movement patterns. Appropriate reception. See, even the thing didn't even know what that meant. Lear priming learning movements. Sorry, I gotta go back to this. I'm sorry, guys, because this is bullshit. Primarily for priming the nervous system, proprioception, learning movement patterns, and a lot for warming up joints and metabolic training. Learning movement patterns, like how to throw a fucking punch. Warming up joints and metabolic patterns. Look at this. This is bullshit. Like he just did this. He got up every day and did this. Like, I mean, wow, what a guy. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Look at this. Look at that. Conor McGregor didn't have these machines when he was training for the UFC, Mike. Do you know what I mean? Jake's got them. He's got the latest Proteus. Harder. That's good. Harder. Look at the trainers he's wearing. He's wearing. <clears throat> isometrics are a staple here. Isometrics are a staple. A staple. What the fuck are isometrics? Is this like a, a fucking a, a pull up? A pull up? Isometrics. Listen to this shit. Would you listen to this? Isometrics. Great rise movement. We use them all the time to help increase strength and stamina at different joint angles. Most of the sets that we do are time sets. We try to keep his work capacity up, keep him moving, keep him sweating, keep burning fat. We still want the heavy stimulus, so we do a lot of heavy sled work. Oh my god. He really thinks he's fucking rocky or something. Getting comfortable with. Oh god, oh god. What the fuck? That's right, Post Malone was in the film. That's right, I see the clip. And he was just covered in shit. He looked like he had shit rubbed all over his face. Horrible. And he looked like a chick as well. I think he's a chick. I don't think he's a real, I don't think he's a girl. I don't think he's a dude. Being uncomfortable. So there you go. Stress, adapt, recover, on repeat for well over a year. Oh God, ice baths for a year. Like this is what he had to go through. Recovery baths, well, performance centers, isometrics recovery training that's discipline that's patience that's the discipline that he had wow that's commitment i'm that's sitting commitment. i'm sitting in here and i feel a lot of gratitude but i know that's i know that's a crazy thing to say jake went into this movie full of obligation honor duty to follow in patrick's footsteps it was in jesus Christ, it's just a fucking shitty B movie to follow about as if like the legacy of Roadhouse, the legacy of some shitty film from the 80s, who gives a fuck? Honestly, like incredible to watch, incredible to see him morph into his character. We always keep the heavy primitive work. Did he morph into his character? He looks like a completely different character, to be honest. One way, shape, or form, whether it's squats or deadlifts. And the variations thereof, we want to keep the muscle coordination at a high. The muscle coordination at a high. What's that, man? Grip work is essential as it seems to be one of the limiting factors in the gym. We pepper in various exercises to keep grip tight. We see some examples more relatable to MMA training, keeping the body in check with offset loading and movements more imperative to sport. This is actually just, uh, this is unbearable. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. 
So there you go.